This is Robert Forsch with the YouTube channel Truth and I wanted to uh, show you the numbers right now. I'll refresh this. Alright, so here's what's really interesting. Let me um, show this as well. Okay, and then uh, also the um, compass reading. Okay, so we had the moon rise a little more than an hour ago out of the uh, northeast. What's really interesting about that is that the, uh, the sun uh, set in the uh, southwest. Right, actually in the southwest. Okay. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Take a look at the uh, right side of the moon, which is where what they call the terminator line. Okay, that's supposed the that's supposed to be the the side that would be fully lit up. Where is all the light that would be coming, flooding from all around to light up the moon? I want to illustrate something to you with that. So this is my handheld light here. I don't know how well you can see the light beam from that. Yeah, I think maybe good enough. So the uh, the sun sat over in that direction, right over there. Okay, now I'm gonna pan back on over. The official story, at least part of it, is that the sun lights up the moon. Well, the moon is self-luminating, gives off its own light. The terminator line is facing where the, the sun sat uh, a few hours ago. Okay, and so I'm going to show the numbers again keep this in mind that the the reason why we don't see uh, a complete sphere is because it's an odd shape. I've got thousands of photos to back that up. You can check that out if you like it. It's on my Facebook page. I'll link it to this video. So this is the street where I live, obviously, and where in the world would we have a wind chime hanging upside down anywhere <clears throat> in relationship to this wind chime? Only in the imagination. Okay, so let's do this again. Then I wanted to uh, go back to the Tide app. Tides Near Me is the app that I use. This is refreshed, so it shows that the um, the moon set is 12 hours and 26 minutes from now. The sunrise is 7 hours and 37 minutes from now.
keep in mind that the um, that the sun will be approaching from that direction. Let's see, it's going to be approaching from right over there, about. Keep in mind that the uh, side of the moon that is not visible is the side that the is facing where the sun sat. The sun, moon, and stars move above a stationary and level earth. There would be no level anywhere on a spinning water sphere hurling through space. The sun is approaching from the left side of the, the moon but seven and a half hours from now. A little less than four hours ago, the sun set from the right side. Job 37 mentions, proclaims that the sun is in the midst of the clouds. Joshua 10, God stopped both the sun and the moon from moving. The earth is fixed, stationary, and level. It does not move. It matters because the truth matters. The Bible tells the truth and NASA lies. That's why I do this. Many people are basing their perspective, an eternal perspective, on a lie. So the sun and the moon are both local, very close. I've never seen any satellites fly between me and the moon or the sun. The only place I've really seen satellites is on uh, TV or the computer. That is magnified 125 times now. The moon gives off a cool light. So the light of the moon is up to 7 degrees I've tested. Uh, cooler than the moon shade. Never seen any uh, moon pyramids or a flag or uh, a rover, no space debris. We didn't land on the moon. Moon landing is a hoax. I've got powerful documentaries on my channel to expose the reality of the world that we live in and I talk about some of it and then find videos and share them. Some of the videos I feature you may have a hard time finding, not because you don't know how to type a word in a search, 
It's because uh, artificial intelligence selectively distributes the recommended videos wherever they want them to go. So you could um, have a different perspective on multiple issues than me. And uh, what you could do is test out what I'm saying. You could scroll through my liked videos playlist and see if you can find those. Well, you won't be able to find those videos. Um, what I should say is your search or test of that would be affected by the very fact that you're on my channel or watched my videos. Artificial intelligence is uh, very uh, powerful. And knows a lot. God knows it all. The God who created this world that we live in gave me new life in Him. I know Him as Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Yahweh, the Living Word, the Living Water, the Great I Am, the Alpha and Omega, the Way, the Truth, the Life. That's the one I'm talking about. Feel free to explore my content. Call me anytime if you like. Thanks so much.